So good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee with me, Susan Bell. Hope you brought your coffee today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about ads and marketing. And I wanted to address this because I'm seeing so many things on Facebook right now, especially around uh, busy times when um, Black Friday sales and the holiday sales and all this are ramping up. So everybody wants to get in on the action. And what I'm seeing is, is that a lot of therapists aren't using their emotional uh, brain. They're using their thinking brain, which is what we all do when we create ads, is we think about what we want to convey in the ad. And we think that if we um, talk about what a great deal or that I'm a massage therapist, that that's going to make people come and, and buy their stuff. And what we need to do is dissect the psychology of what makes an ad work. And you can see that psychology on television ads. They have 30 seconds or 15 seconds, or if you're unfortunate, a minute to convey a certain feeling. And one of them that comes to mind is this really cute dog who's sitting in the window and there's Christmas snow falling from the window and the fireplace in the background and the dog is looking out the window uh, waiting for somebody to obviously show up and it's a holiday commercial and then you see a young girl uh, probably college age driving in this huge uh, SUV I'm not sure what I think it's Lincoln honestly a Lincoln SUV and she's driving through these snowy mountains and it's gorgeous and but it's a little treacherous because it's snowy and windy and she uh, you see the girl drive and she's got this calm look on her face because she's surrounded by this luxury. And you flash back to the dog and then the mom looks at the dog like, don't worry, hon, she's on her way. And then you flash back to the girl and she pulls into the driveway and the dog gets all excited and runs out the door. And then mom and mom is in the doorway and the dog is there and the girl kisses the dog. Problem resolved, you know, mommy's home from college and then they flash to the car. What does the girl, the dog, the mom, the snow, and the fireplace have to do with a Lincoln SUV? Absolutely nothing. However, it has absolutely everything to do with selling that car. They're creating a sense of warmth, desire, family, um, all of those things that this car will get you to your family so you can have the warmth of Christmas in your heart because this car will get you there. So um, it addresses parents because parents send their kids to college and want them to come home safe. And it addresses the kids because the kid's driving in comfort. And all of these points come very uh, are very specific to addressing that. Um, same thing with perfume commercials. They can't make you smell a perfume on television. So they have to create the sense of what the perfume will give you. Uh, swimming in the pool in a big beautiful gown, uh, getting dressed up and wearing diamonds and having your hair up and have the sexy smexy hottie come walk you through the forest or whatever, whatever they're trying, they're trying to sell you. They're selling you an emotion. So how does that relate to us as massage therapists? You have to relate an emotion and resolve that problem. So how can you do that in your, in your ad? You have a split second. Um, they've, they've decided that the average human, the average adult today has the attention span just a couple seconds shy of a goldfish. So if you can imagine how long you have a goldfish's attention, then subtract a few seconds and that's how many seconds you have uh, with someone on social media or on the internet. So with those points in mind in your head, how do you create that emotion? How do you get somebody to stop and smile and feel warm about what you do or uh, relieve a pain uh, with what you do? And if you can relate and, and sell your ads or put your ads in place around that effect, uh, resolving a problem is going to get you more than uh, creating pleasure. Um, and that if you can do both, then you've got a winning combination, but you only have a window of about three to five seconds before somebody scrolls by. So images work better. We're very visually oriented as opposed to text. There's text all over the place. So if you are going to go as far as putting ads, 
uh, then they have to be compelling and they have to be actionable. People have to say, this solves my problem. I need to do this now. So when you make an ad, focus on doing it that way. Does this solve a problem? And will somebody click through? And create something, and instead of just putting it out there, um, run it by a few people and see what they think. Ask your clients, hey, hey, I created this ad. Would this make you think? Or would this, make, would this appeal to you? Um, Spencer and I were looking at an ad. <clears throat> I forget the topic. But the young man in the picture... Uh, was someone Spencer's age, and didn't? Uh, it was a massage ad, and the, it was a young guy, and it was about buying massage for this young guy. And I said, you know, as a as an older woman, you know, with you know a, a, a man in in his fifties would be my companion. This ad doesn't speak to me at all. So who has the money? Uh, a millennial who is in college might not have the money, but someone in the older years who has a husband or a significant other with constant headaches or a backache or drives a lot would be the person you might want to target if you're looking to get people into your office. So having a husband and wife in your picture where he's kind of doing this and she's kind of comforting him may relate to more people and get those types of people in your office. So who are you trying to get uh, to reach with this, audio, with this ad? So it was a cute guy, and I liked looking at him as he was a cute guy, but it didn't, it didn't re relate to me to say, I need, uh, this picture reminds me, I need to get my uh, friend in here or my church friend or my, my coworker or somebody or my significant other in the office. Um, the picture didn't grab me that way. It grabbed me because I'm a marketer, and I noticed that uh, the ad wasn't uh, targeted to me. It doesn't mean it's a bad ad. It means she should have two so that one could be targeted to a, a younger audience and one could be targeted to, say, an older audience. So you need multiple ads and you need to see who they're relating to on an emotional level and target those groups with your ad with a call to action. Anyway, that's my tip for the day. A little long. Good luck. Post your ad below and we will be happy to look at it for you. Have a great day. Bye.